Um, how much time do we have? Twenty-one. Okay. We missed that on stream, but uh, Tyler Peach got a kill against Ohio. They had a slight main event, and just like that, will be one to change 69. Walk from Ohio goes down, Tyler Peach goes down, and there goes Terrence Checkin, number 77 of Ohio going down, and that change as well. Appreciate everybody's patience. Just like that, number 60, Owens, a DB goes down that exchange. I think it might be even at this point. Somebody got to throw. All right, everybody safe. Everybody safe. Uh oh. Oh, got him. Yep, there you go, down that exchange. Good follow up right there by GB. Really good follow up. Not a bad reset, Joe. All right. Both teams just resetting at this point. No dice for either team. All right. Oh, good kill right there by Vince Smart. We kind of missed that off the screen, my bad. It's kind of apple angle. Looking to push up. All right, so Ohio, let's see. Not bad right there by, by Alex. Good reset throw right there by Max. Number 17. Vince Moore creeping. Got him. And down goes 15 to Tuttle Humphrey. Yeah, Hunter Humphrey goes down that exchange. Good kill right there by Ben Smart. Jones with the missed catch. Ohio's really, really close to the take count. They're going to wait for Ohio to come up. Let's see what Ohio's going to do. They have to come up. Is that a drop catch? It is a drop catch. Number 10 of Pope from DV goes down. Let's see what Tyler Peace is going to do. He's coming up. Oh, okay. Number 17, Max goes down that exchange as well. Good reset throw by Ben. Another reset throw by both teams. They're just resetting. GV has a man advantage. Ohio's on the tank out. They have less than six players. All right, so let's see. Ohio has three balls, so they have to throw one within the 10 seconds. There goes Otto with the throw from Tyler Peach. All right, he's, he's just taking his time. Got him. Nope. Safe. Okay. All right. So Ohio has two balls. They do not have to throw. Once that ball is on their court, then they have to throw. They do not have to throw. Oh, wait. My apologies. I totally missed that. Um, Alice, that was 71 from Ohio. He had a ball. That makes it three. Caleb Bonner still in number two. Uh, number 10 is um, Rowdy. 
Caleb Otto with the catch, and we caught it on stream. You love to see it. At number 69, Sean O'Donnell comes in, and that reset the shot clock back to 10. Ground and safe. Number 21, Mason Smith almost caught my man sleeping with the cross. Here comes Ben and company, as well as Tyler Peach. All right, ground. Oh, he's still safe. Oh, with the toe tapper. Number five, Darnell goes down that exchange, but he'll gladly take it out of change. Caleb Barter could not secure it. Team throw successful for GD. Will that count? It would not count. It would not count. We've got to have a shot clock. Yep, ball's over. Yep. I will um, start the clock once uh, GD gets over. I gotta do a little bit of like transition, a uh, little, little bit um, back and forth. I'm peaking a little bit, my apologies for that. All right, that, that should be better. My apologies for that. I didn't mean to be peaking like that. All right, here we go. Yep, that got him. All right, Alex goes down, two players left. Ah, missed catch right there by number 10. Rowdy, one play left to beat. It's up to 69, Walt. Actually, he's wearing one jersey. Number 69 is actually Samuel Dobb. My apologies, sir. We got right the top game side one to one. Let me go ahead and um, go ahead and fix the clock real quick. My apologies. Give me one minute. Okay, 14:38. Thank you. My apologies. That should be better for everybody. Should be better for everybody. My apologies. I just had to fix the audio real quick. Be right back. Sorry about that. Audio should be better now for everybody. I just had to make a switch. It was like super loud, super peaking. Sorry about that. All right, it should be more enjoyable for everybody. We got a little bit of action going on on the right hand, well, left hand side of Ohio, right hand side of GD, as Owens is pushing up, as well as Gonzalez. Good block by both teams. Fundamental stuff right there. Another good block right there. Ooh, he did not get him. 
Good attempt, though, by Alex, number 71, for Mahara trying to take out assistant captain. Ooh, Ben Smart once again putting in that good work. I got to get him a little bit more elevation. My bad. All right, no dice. Yeah, GV only got two balls. They do not have to throw. But as soon as they secure that ball, oh! An another kill for Ben Smart. Take it out, number 11 uh, of Ohio. All right, GV got three balls. They have 15 seconds to throw, all with the reset throw. All right, Ben Smart just threw. All right. Oh, shoot. Good reset throw right there by Ben. Terrence, chicken. Oh, easy catch for Ben. He was on the ground. The disrespect is real. That was a really good draw right there by Terrence, though. Ben Smart read it all the way, though. Terrence got, like, that single ball. Got some serious movement. That 12-6 to six action. Good kill right there by Ohio. The kid with uh, just the shirt. I don't know your name, unfortunately. I'm glad to ask one of your players for your name, sir. All right, reset throw by both teams. Oh, and that was a catch for GB. Oh, down goes Arnold. And just like that, Ohio is back on the tank count. Yep, that throw will count. Good throw right there by Lawrence. That was too many. That was too many throws right there by Ohio. They knew it. Ben Smart with the throw. Ohio has less than six. They're on a 10 second shot clock. They have to throw. Owens with the reset throw. Ooh, good kill right there by number 25 of Ohio. Who is, it's not on here, what? You hate to see it. Oh, that's a team catch. Oh, yes it is, yes it is. That is a team catch. Yeah, team catch right there by, oh, by uh, GD. Here come Peach. Balls over, go against Ohio. Time to stop the clock. Yikes. One play left to beat. All right, he got a kill. He got a kill. If GV scores a point and it's four minutes and under, that time we roll over to the second half and oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Ben actually missed. That's weird. It doesn't happen very often. And that clip helm. 
All right. GV up two to one, and I think we're going to halftime. Apologies. I thought that was halftime, and apparently it wasn't. We actually have more time left on the clock. My apologies for that. Sheesh! Yikes, and uh, yikes. Two players go down, number 69 O'Donnell, as well as number 15, Hunter Humphreys of Ohio. My goodness. Okay, so, all right. So I actually see the actual timer now. They actually fix it at JMU, it wasn't working for like the first 20 odd minutes or so, so we back now. So, so we should have accurate time. Yeah, we should have accurate time from here on out. I really thought it was halftime, y'all. That's why I played that commercial. So my apologies for that. We didn't miss anything. Dang, sheesh. There's a lot of people. Well, you know, Ben Kill, you know, Ben Smart doing what he does best, taking out 47 Joes. It's getting a little chaotic for me personally. Ohio's coming in as the number one team in the country. I believe GV's coming in as number two. In the actual rankings, not the power rankings, but in the actual rankings. With the exception of the first point, when Ohio took control, it's pretty much just been GV all day. All right, about seven, 719 left, give or take, on the official game clock. Reset throw right there by both teams. Oh, easy catch by Alex. Easy money. Mm, I don't know. That was close. That was close. Oh, boy. Oh, sheesh. Oh, Lord. Jesus. God, dude. Man, like, why would you do that? That's, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible business decision right there. 
by number 69, Sean. Like, why would you be that close against Ben Smart? That's just not the way to go, man. It's not the way to go. All right, so Ohio's back on the 10 count. They have five players left. GV has more than six. All right, so, all right, so let's see. So to our left, we have number two, Caleb Arnold. Number 10, Rowdy. Number 88, Garrett. Number 71, Alex. And number 21, no, sorry, 25. Austin. Austin with, that was, eh, that could have been catchable. That could have been catchable for Austin. Anywho, team throw on the right hand side against Alex, not successful. Owens with the throw, ooh, drop catch for Owens. Good kid right there by number 25 of Ohio. Austin, that was a good kill right there, my man. Let's see. Team throw. Yeah, he got hit. Yeah. I was not going to like that one. Spears said he got hit by the foot. Uh, let's see what Garrett's going to do. Reset throw. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Uh, he was lunging for that one. He was definitely lunging for that one. All right. Oh, Ben Smart just mixed. 25 Austin just moved out the way just in time. Smith, Jacob, Jacob with a pump fake. Jacob number four, Smith number 21, Smart number one. Let's see what uh, Tyler Pete's about to do. Just kind of filling out his opponent. Look like Jacob about to throw, never mind. Ben Smart throws instead. Okay, Ohio has three balls, so they have to throw within the 10 seconds or else it will be balls over. And... Oh boy. Let's see, team throw about to come up. Ah, they caught us. Mm. Yeah, Ben Smart did not like that. He did not like, oh, drop catch by number five, Darnell. Good kill right there by number 25, Austin from Ohio. All right, Garrett safe. Alex, good reset throw. All right, Ben Smart with his own reset throw. Austin's most likely going to reset. All right, uh-oh. Yeah, that's too many, that's too many. They know it. They're not going to stop that ball. So Ohio has two balls, so they do not have to throw. They don't have a timer. Three balls against Garrett. Make that four, not successful. Tyler P said, come on, come at me, bro. He's really saying, come at me. Oh, that's too easy. You got baited, Austin. <laughs> you should have known, man. Did you read the scouting report? I know you read the scouting report. It's another catch for Tyler Peach, man. And he's healthy, too? Oh, Lord Jesus. Tyler Peach was not 100% last year. He is now. That's bad news for everybody else. But Gary with the grown man catch, taking out number 21. Oh, wait, he did not catch that? Hey, is it catching out? It's a catch and out. It's a catch and out. Okay, okay. All right, so 21 Smith goes out. It's a catch and out for Ohio. Oh, Humphrey, come on, man. Oh, we needed that. Well, I mean we, I mean Ohio. I'm not from Ohio, I'm just saying. All right, one play left to beat. Oh, okay, that'll count. Yep, number 10. Number 10, Rowdy. Oh, he couldn't. Oh, no, he could not snag it. All right, and GV is now up 3-1, to one, and now we're going to halftime.
OH, IO, no fear, no fear. As we're making our way towards Ohio University, we travel onto Interstate 56 to the beautiful campus located in Athens, Ohio, where we'll have the 2023 national champion at the Walter Fieldhouse and let us pay tribute to our seniors who participated in a JBBB tournament as fans. And now we'll have Tony Stopo and Kobe Bryceland do commentating. Pretty good one-two punch. Nice team throw there. Speaking of Janowskis there. Couldn't reel in that catch. And right now, it looks like they're going to take advantage of that with some team throws. And there goes Colby, number 20. That's a big get for them right there. For there, number 28. He uh, he put the team on his back uh, for a minute wow. yesterday. Great hit. Number 77, Terrence Checkett. Four players left. Oh, oh no. Big the solo throw. He wanted what did his I just to say? Throw. What did I just say? Okay. And that brings in Caleb Arnold. So that's right now. Nice block by Caleb Arnold. He normally would go for that catch. Oh, boy, yep. oh, oh what a catch. Right Got the foot in bounds. It's now two on two, folks. Yep. Number 32, I believe he's a senior. Uh, oh, what another catch. It's Caleb now two Arnold on one. Another catch here from Nebraska against number 15. Hunter Humphreys, another junior. And Hunter Humphreys gets the final wow. kill. Wow. That point was electric. Janowskis and Stokel with a team throw, and then Stokel gets the catch right there. Stokel and Rupp with a nice team throw, takes out Tommy Eger. Holding Janowskis in, controlling everything here. Uh-oh, uh oh Caught him lacking in the out. Out. Had a shot. Wow, and a catch. catch! Oh, no! Couldn't reel it in. That was number 32. Now if you're... Oh, Tommy Eggleston! This is the catch. And Ohio takes the lead with under... Grand Valley State University, home of the Lakers. They have more championships than any other team in the country. 28 All-Americans came from their program and 10 consecutive seasons that they have at least one All-American. Let's hear what the commentators have to say. Ashton Bird from JMU is going to be up there as well. And, he, and that's it. He goes down there. And that's probably going to be it, folks. GVSU. 36 months since the last time they stepped on the, the trophy for the title game. Their Nationals is going back to Allendale. As the defending champions of the league, the Lakers understand that everybody is going to be giving them the best shot and they have a huge target on their back. But they are not worried nor discouraged. They have one of the best transition games in the country when they control the tempo, they control the speed, they control the outcome. More times than not, they literally force their opponent to make poor decision after poor decision after poor decision, essentially playing at the mercy of the Lakers. And by the time that happens, it's too little too late. This season, they're looking to take back the Michigan Dodgeball Cup away from Michigan State and defend their championship against all teams in the league. Once a Laker, always a Laker. And they believe that nobody is better than they are. Valley 
State Lakers back on top. Crown them. did. They did. They did, my friend. Anywho, our right, benchmark goes to Atlantic Chain. Big, big kill right there for Ohio. Like I said, both teams are kind of like trading back and forth. So right now, this is a situation that, okay, so they just, all right, that's all Ohio needs to do. But you got to pay attention, Daniel. Come on now. Come on now, Daniel. You know better than that. You know better than that, man. Come on now. Come on now. All right. <laughs> the GOAT, Evan Essenberg from JMU, graced us in our presence once again. Uh oh, here comes Tyler Peach. Jesus. You know, that's one thing I do love about Peach. He's just absolutely fearless. He does not care. He's going to do what he got to do. All right, he might be able to get through. Yeah, he did. Good, good effort. Good effort right there. All right, he's, he's, he's situated now. All right, this is a Mexican standoff. If I ever seen one, GV did end up getting that ball. Oh, man, you, dang. Yeah, there's definitely some anger going on. This is not what Ohio needed, man. Yeah. All right, so Ohio, they should not panic, but they got to block for their teammates. And they got to watch out for crosses. Good kill right there. Number two, DV goes out. And that exchange. Number two, I'm going to have to ask for his name. I cannot pronounce it correctly. My apologies. All right, Terrence Cheeky with the reset throw. Here we go. GV about to come after Hunter. Oh, good block. Now that's how you block for your teammate. That's a solid block. Let's go! Jones with the crow man catch. That's how you do it, Jones. That's that's how we that's how you do it, baby. That's how you do it in Athens, Ohio, baby. You let him know. You let him know, good sir. That's how you do it. Caught that with his full chest. And that's what Ohio is going to need to do because Ohio is one of the best catching teams in the country. I understand they got to do the transition game back and forth because that's how GB plays. But when opportunity comes that they can go for catches, they have to secure it. Because Ohio's really good at baiting their opponent. Speaking of which, number 55, because that was just baiting his opponent. If that was a block, it was. Yeah, 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 I got you. Dang. Chica just got clipped. Another Ohio player got clipped. Too many players from Ohio getting clipped from the transition game. And that's pretty much what, oh, did he know he would not get it? Number 64 from GV would not get it, unfortunately. This catch. All right, ball's over in favor of Ohio.
Team throw not successful for Ohio. That was successful, and number five, Daniel goes, I mean, Darnell, my apologies, goes down that exchange. Timeout call. That was a good timeout. Okay. I'm going to fix the clock real quick. Alex with the reset throw. All right, both teams just reset it. Oh, not bad by Hunter. Oh, Hunter got him. Hunter got number 10 pole out in that exchange. Only two players left for GB. That was big. Number 55, Gonzalez. Team throw. That did it get him. Did it get him? It did not get him. It did not get him. Oh, oh, he called him out. JT's called him out. Oh, uh, yeah, JT's called him out. One play left to beat. Jacob, throw to catch. No, no, that, I thought it was catch. Pretty sure that was catch. All right, score is two to, hold up, hold up. I need to stop the clock. I think the score is three to two. But we're about to find out a little bit of discussion for both teams. All right, the catch is good. The score is now three to two. Ohio's only down by one. They won't stop hitting my equipment. Jesus. They won't stop hitting my equipment. Anywho, um, 
<sighs> All right, where, where are we? Uh, I don't know. The catch. The oh, yeah, Terrence, Terrence Piss. Yeah, he did not like that call. He did not like that call. Not even a little bit. Yeah, Thane's getting chippy now. Thane's getting chippy. Oh boy. You got a block. Good block. There you go, Dan. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Good kill right there. Take it out, number 21, Mason Smith. I promise I would not do the 21 Savage song. I promise. Ah, uh, missed catch by the Ohio player with the T-shirt. We don't have his name, so. All right, good, good reset throw right there by Ors, number 60 of GV. All right, looking about to do team throw on the, oh! Yo, yo, I got Terrence. Last time you gave me a whole time by not getting your headshot because I wasn't paying attention, I got you. Clean, timely headshot by Terrence Cheekit taking out number 60. Oh, it's a GV, my goodness. Jones telling his players to push up. I don't blame him. Oh, but that's an easy catch. Not really for sure what my man Danny was doing, man. You cannot throw to number six. You can't throw it to Peacock, man. That's just not, that's not the way to go. You got a pop ball. We need a ball in. Oh, hold up. Just get a ball, man. Just, dude, just get the ball in. Get the ball in. Yo, what? Yo, I'm doing too many things at once. It should not be this difficult, guys. Come on. Get the ball in. Yo, get the ball in. Right now, I think we're only playing with nine balls, y'all. God. Yeah, Tyler Pease won that exchange once again. Point blank kill. Darnell, take it out, number 47, Jones. Sheesh, man. There's only nine balls in. Put the red ball on the court. I'm doing eight jobs, y'all. It's not that serious. Thank you. Yeah, before anyone gives me a hard time for pronouncing names, I'm doing like 12 different jobs, eight to 12. Forgive me, forgive me. I'm also ball shagging too. Not supposed to be doing that. Tyler Pease go out and out of change. I should not be ball shagging under any conditions. There's referees and assistant refs and time clocks for that reason. Jeez. All right, let's get back to the game. Good block by number 11. Good block. All right. All right. All right. Both teams are just trading resets at this point. Grand Valley has the man advantage, so. Ah, oh, that's an easy catch. Easy catch for Jacob, man, number four. Jacobs, man, that's, that's just too easy. He baited him. He baited him. And Austin knew it. 
He knew it. Oh, got him. Got him. He never saw it coming. Yeah, man. Sean never saw that coming, man. Oh, come on. Man, that's a drop catch. Drop catch for Gonzalez Yates to see it. Yeah, but that was a really good kill right there by Matthew, number 11, assistant captain for GV. Pretty much caught my man Sean from Ohio sleeping. And don't look now, but Ohio is back on the 10 count. Ooh, Ben Smart. Ooh. Yeah, that's a trade for both teams. Three players left for Ohio. Okay, and that's going to, we're going to have to stop the clock. Water bottles on the floor. I'll fix the time later. I'll, I'll fix the time later. Thank goodness there's no water spillage. There's no water spillage. That was, that was wild. Okay, all right, so three plays up for Ohio. Kayla honor number two, number 88, Garrett, and number 11, um, Bati, Batai. Anywho, and GV has more than six, so they are the 15 shot. They are the 15 sh um, shot clock. Ohio is on a 10 second shot clock, and Ohio has five balls. All right, here we go. I think Caleb Arnold might throw. Solid reset throw by Arnold. All right. Oh, man, Garrett. Come on, Al. Come on, Garrett. Yeah. No, no that's ground. That's ground. That's ground. Woo! Yeah, that was a thrown catch right there by um, Arnold. Don't play left to B. Here it comes. He's safe. Evan Essenberg is asking me if I can get a mic up. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not opposed to Evan Essenberg hopping on the mic with me. Yep, that's going to do it. All right. 12.57 left, 4 to 2 in favor of GV.
Eddie. Ooh, man, Alex goes down on that exchange. His blocker was not blocking for him. Oh, Caleb Arnold with the drop catch. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Man, Matthew was just pushing mad aggressive against Ohio. He does not fear them at all. Like, not even a little bit. My goodness. Which is funny because Ohio, they're the one that's saying no fear, but right now, GV is the one that's playing with zero fear whatsoever. Zero fear. And also, GV also had the longest drive out of all the teams here. The longest drive. And I think the scouting report also told me, too, that um, they didn't have, like, all their players here at the tournament either. So solid showing right now for GV. My goodness. Here we go. Humphrey with the reset. Ah, oh, man. Humphrey could not secure that catch. Uh-oh, you got a patat. Too many. Woo. Man, you, man, I tell you. Jones almost got caught sleeping right by um, Darnell. We, we seen Darnell light some people up. We, we definitely seen my man light some people up. Great block. Ooh, Terrence Chica goes down. Yeah. Yeah, he never saw that cross coming. As well as Peach. Peach goes down. That was a great catch, though. Take it out, Matthew, number 11. From GV. Good kill right there by Max. Taking out number 84, Connor. This is what Ohio needs. They got to play their style. They got to play their game. Oh, make them pay. There you go. There you go. If he push ups against you like that, you got to make them pay. Ohio's doing much better at this point. Much better. Seriously, Ohio, they got to play with no fear. Time is not on their side either. They're down by two. They cannot be down by three if they finish going to get back in. And Gonzalez take it out number three. Limp break by the leg. Dang, and Max, was it a tray? It was not a tray. Gonzalo won that tray, taking out Max, one of the captains for Ohio. If Ohio has any chance of getting back into this game, they have to win this point. They cannot be down by three under the 930 mark. They still got Jones. And they still got number 71, over liable, Alex. <laughs> 47, Jones known for his catching abilities. 71, Alex known for his transition game. We also got Daniel, number seven. We also got 25, Alston. Also got number 69, Sean O'Donnell. These players from Ohio, they can't get it done. They just have to continue to play with no fear. Unfortunately, number seven, Daniel goes down that exchange. You hate to see it. Jones going to need a catch. And he knows it. Dang, he got hit. He got hit. And just like that, Ohio is now on the 10 count. Drop catch. Eh. It's ground. Owens is safe. All right, let's see what Sean's going to do. Sean's, all right, never mind. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's going to be balls over. Barely. Barely. That could have been disastrous. But now under the eight minute mark. Mm. Reset. 
right. Oh, yeah, that got him. That got him. The blue ball hit his foot right before it hit the ground, and as a result, two players left. Austin and Alex. Austin, number 25. Alex, number 71 from Ohio. Mm, Pope wanted that one. Pope wanted that one. Ohio really needs to catch though. That's not going to work. One play left to beat. All right, so normally Alex would take this opportunity to stall, but he needs a catch. Alex normally would use this time to kill a lot of time off the clock, but he needs a catch. Yeah, needs a catch, and he knows it. And that's going to be balls over in favor of Ohio. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Make Alex work. They're gonna make him work. They're gonna make him come. To, they're gonna make him come to them. Oh Jesus! You hate to see it. Mutual respect by our former teammates. Mutual respect. Five zero. Sorry. Good God. Not five zero. Five three. My apologies. Let me fix that real quick. All right, so pretty much this game is over. I think both teams are just gonna play it out. Just, you know, kind of just freestyle, just having some fun. But from a competitive perspective, this game is definitely over, for sure. Another catch right there for Ben Smart. Take it out, my man, with the Ohio shirt. Brings back Donnell with that catch. All right. Mm, the ball was tipped. The ball was tipped. That would not count as a catch. Good effort, though. Too many balls, and good God. 
Somebody on YouTube said that assistant captain number 16 always is going to be right in your kitchen. Do not be fooled by the setup. This is a very small court, and it plays really, really fast. We're just slightly elevated just to get away from all the action. Dang, you got a block for your teammate, my guy. Yeah, I don't blame you, Max. Max is really upset at number three from Ohio. You got a block for your teammate. And essentially, that, that's pretty much it's been like, like if you really kind of just take away like the X's and the O's, the thing that really hurt Ohio in this game is two things. Um, teammates not blocking for balls that needs to be blocked, and then just throwing too many balls when they only have to throw like one or two. That's pretty much been about it. That's, that's pretty much been the story of this game. Jesus, innocent fans just got slapped. You gotta catch that, dude. Come on, man. I know you want to block, but you got to catch. Dang, man. As, as you can see right there, Terrence just basically just calling out his team saying, where's the block? Where is the block? I mean, that's that's been the story, man. Like, And Ohio is really good at the fundamentals, too. So this is very uncharacteristic of them. But then again, for the most part, against most teams, GV will force you to make poor decision after poor decision. Sheesh. Yeah, that was a headshot. It will count. That was definitely a changeup of a headshot. That wasn't like a that was like a basketball headshot, but that was a headshot nevertheless. That was funny though. Good catch. That's how you do it. Pope goes down that exchange. Good catch, Austin. Good catch. About to be under the two. Uh, now that's an amazing. I think we missed that off the of camera. But Garrett, that's how. The way how Garrett blocks number 88, that's how everybody should block. To that level of commitment. And she made the catch. You love to see it. You love to see it. And also, shout out for GV for playing their women on the court. Thank you. They made a trip. They made a commitment. They paid their dues. They go to practices. They sure deserve some playing time. It's been a while since GV actually played their women. It's been a while. I probably want to say the last time I seen that happen, probably had to be at 2017 when they actually came to Towson. When we was graced with the presence of the legend, Brendan Marzia. Ball's over. I should stop the clock. It's 207. It's kind of a moot point, honestly. I know the rule says you're supposed to stop the clock when the ball is over. Ignore the time. You know. We should be getting started for the next game soon. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a GV versus uh, Cincy. Yes. Thank you, Spear. Much needed. Um, I also got to fix up my audio real quick. Seems like some of my batteries about to about to be kaput, so we we'll have to fix that after this game. Good God, that was a team throw and a very convincing team throw too. Whoa! Listen, I understand you're upset, Austin. I don't blame you. But my goodness, dude. All right, two players left. Team, team, team throw. They need a team throw. 
Ooh, nice. Okay, he's, listen. Gonzalez is already out. One play left to beat. Number, <coughs> oh, excuse me, number 69. And we don't have his name on the, on the roster. That should do it. Final score, 5-3. GV with the win. And uh, yeah, so let me just update up, update that up real quick, and uh, we'll get started in the next game. Good job, everybody. Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time.